that took me all day of screwing around to figure it out but I finally got one fuel line figured out anyway this is the line that runs from the fuel selector valve there's a fuel selector valve there and that'll then down to the firewall to the gas collator which will be somewhere in that area this bend here it's got a little joggle going around that tube and uh, it's going to be okay. I'll probably put a little bit of tape or something in there just to keep it from banging against that tube if when it rattles, but it, it's actually pretty tight. It, it clears that tube by a little bit there. And, uh, so that's good. And uh, no pressure on the fuel selector valve. Got one clamp here. Got one of those uh, three-quarter inch clamps that I put a nut zert in and then uh, one of these fuel proof clamps um, screwed on there so that suspends that pretty good so anyway there's the first fuel hose fuel line I'm gonna have to do the same thing here this comes up into a T and then there'll be uh, a line will come around in a joggle around this and then that line will turn, go up past the um, the fuel select or the uh, throttle cable here, and uh, into the under behind the instrument panel, and then goes up this window channel, and then it'll be teed off here, and one line will go back and be a joggle around this little uh, tube, and then it'll go on back, get clamped into this clamp here underneath the rear throttle. Uh, quadrant if there was a real throttle there and then go on back up here and up this channel inside this window um, covering here along this window uh, post and then come out up there in that wing root and then uh, this one will come back there'll be a joggle here and then it'll come up and uh, one branch of it'll go on back and hang in this uh, lower section here and then on back up on there and around the corner and then back and then out that wing root over there and another piece will come out of it come up around here and then up and then around the firewall around over on the other side and then up that window post and into that wing root up there on the front side so there's still quite a bit to do to get these uh, fuel lines in here, but I got one. That's a start. See, there's the fuel selector valve. I've got three lines made up for it now. Um, this line, of course, goes back and will have a uh, branch coming off of it that will go forward and around and up to that uh, upper right wing root, the forward wing root, and then this branch here will go all the way back and ar around behind the baggage compartment um, and up the other side, the right side, and into the right rear uh, wing route. Um, this one here goes up, comes out up here in the left wing route, and this one here goes on down to the fuel selector valve. So these bends um, here I made with a combination of by hand and and kind of hand forming it using those uh, benders that I that I have. Uh, this one here I'd be bent around this uh, tube and this one bent around this tube. This tube here uh, I bent all of it by hand just uh, with my fingers and thumbs and, uh, and toeses and noses and things like that and I've got it run. It, it was pretty easy to run. I had to you know, bend it around in comes by this tube, it clears that tube just fine and then uh, runs around and, and up inside this panel and then uh, bends here and goes up this uh, and goes up this wing root and comes out comes out in the wing root right here and that, that'll be finished up there, uh, cut that to, to length, bring it out here somewhere close there to where the the one comes out of the wing tank and uh, so we can run a hose from it to the wing tank and you know, put a bead in that. And these were probably the worst bends here because they had to, there's a pretty tight 
this one's not quite as tight as this one, but uh, pretty. Uh, and, and the bands are real close, right on the the where the nipples go here, um, where the fittings go. So you have to kind of bend it right with those. Um, you can't these collars that go in here. You can't slide them on afterwards. There's bands deform the tubing too much for them to slide on after you get it bend made. So um, they've got to be on there while you flare it and while you bend it. Well, I made a little change on the routing of one of my lines. This line that runs up to the uh, left hand forward wing, wing root. Uh, I did have it coming out turning and going in against this panel and then up inside um, of the uh, uh, throttle here and then turning and coming and then up this channel and when I got to checking put the instrument panel on there to check it it didn't leave a whole lot of room in there for anything else it kind of crowded that notch out of the instrument panel so I got to looking at it and I, so I decided to change it and I I took the line off and I re-bent it um, this bend down here is pretty close to what it was I didn't change it much but I bent this whole thing out I did have it bent and turned and going in and then I've got it coming up and it's going to be just inside the boot cowl here and uh, it comes up along there and uh, up next to this uh, tube here and then bend and then a double bend or bend here to go up this uh, this window channel and come out and that gives me a lot more room in there in that uh, channel for all of the wiring and um, the pedo static system lines that run up that channel is a little little neater operation it'll be covered up with the boot cowl here um, boot cowl will come up over it so I'll have to put some protectant on that line there but uh, that's a little better routing than what I had before I think I'm setting up to do the fuel line from that T uh, out of the fuel selector valve up to the left hand rear uh, wing root and what I've done here to measure out my fuel line so I don't have to handle all of it at once is I've just taken some heavy wire. This isn't that heavy a wire, but uh, you know, baling wire type wire, and uh, run it uh, the route that I'm going to run the wire or the the, the tubing, and uh, and then I cut it off to length. So now I can take this wire and straighten it out and uh, put it along the, the coil of, uh, of tubing and uh, then cut it off and I'll know exactly how long the tubing, how much tubing I need to cut off. The lines to the rear wing roots are both hooked up. We've got uh, a line for the left rear wing root uh, is hooked in there at that uh, union or that T right there in front of the fuel selector valve and then it goes back hangs from that top hanger there on the uh, rear throttle hanger and it goes back and get an elbow right there put a piece of uh, 3 8 inch fuel line on it to protect it because it rubs against that Longeron right there and then uh, it runs up that window post and there's a uh, keeper for it or a hanger for it right there but I put it beside it and run it ahead of it and then that uh, line when it comes up from the belly tank I'll put in that keeper but I put that uh, spiral wrap around it to help keep it from rubbing on the window post there and, and the uh, fuel line when it comes up from the uh, belly tank and it goes out the wing root right up there and then I just got done with the uh, right rear uh, f wing root fuel line and it hooks into that T right there which goes into the rear side of the fuel selector valve and uh, then it comes back and hangs from that hanger there at the rear throttle quadrant right below the left fuel line and then it goes back and then there's a hanger right on that uh, cross member right there that uh, back rear seat cross member there's a hanger right underneath it and then we've got a little joggle 
in it right there where it goes up over that bracket for the uh, baggage compartment liner and then it goes up along that side but just below that window up along that side there's a hanger there on that uh, that strut or post there and then uh, we've got an elbow uh, right there a band right there coming into that rear baggage compartment and then we've got two hangers on this A-frame right here um, I put a couple of uh, clamps there um, one on each of the A-frames and then it comes out an elbow here coming out of that rear baggage compartment and then a clamp there on that little former it comes up in the wing rib um, fuselage rib and comes out through a whole space in it and another clamp and then up the wing rip, uh, route and it'll be cut off there someplace a bead put on it and then a fuel line put on it uh, flexible fuel line put on it from there to the wing uh, tank so I've got a piece of 3 8 inch fuel line here where that would potentially rub on that uh, that diagonal or that strut right there that brace and another one here where it goes through this gingerbread here former uh, tape on it right here in this hanger I put another piece of uh, uh, fuel line here just over that to protect it from in case it chafes a little bit on that uh, former another piece of fuel line there now I don't really need it there but that's underneath um, where that pulley is and just in case something happens it's got plenty of clearance underneath that pulley but that's a just in case uh, better safe than sorry uh, another 742 clamp there and, a, and an ADL clamp and those are fuel proof clamps and uh, oh, another elbow more tape and uh, of course fuel line there over that joggle um, under it and that's it on the left I mean the right side fuel line and there it is now it's a nice even slope down all the way on both of those there's where it goes now all that trouble I went through the uh, couple, last couple days to fix up a bending tool and I, I bent all this stuff by hand just using my my hands thumb and and whatnot to to bend it with this is where the right or the left wing uh, fuel line comes out put another piece of fuel line right there uh, flexible line rubber line where it comes up around that corner protect it there so, that's it I think that looks pretty good I got this uh, fuel line for the right wing forward root in and uh, pretty happy with it and there's where it comes out of the window post there a little short piece of uh, 3 8 inch fuel line on there to protect that where it goes up around that uh, rib former there and uh, around that post um, and it comes down down that window post and uh, it bends here and normally these go would go down underneath and out here along the inside of the boot cowl and then turn and go across but I noticed on uh, the other airframe uh, we have the a back seat heat in there and it comes in about here and the hose uh, two or maybe a little higher I'm not sure um, comes in here but the tube for that for the heat went down um, here and went past this fuel line and that sucker got pretty hot and uh, I didn't like that they had to have a shield on this uh, bar here and stuff for it and in the fuel line but the the heater hose went right along the, or right down past the fuel line and you could see how hot it got so I run this one inside um, and up it should be out of the way it's right along the um, panel here the and then got it attached with a couple of clamps here to this uh, V brace on the front and it slopes down all the way at an angle 
a little bit of a slope on it. Not too much of one where it crosses that firewall and put a little bit more in it there. And then uh, I put a piece of uh, rubber hose here. This is where that, uh, it was on the other side closer, but that's where that uh, heater was. So if it gets any residual heat from that, it shouldn't now, but uh, I just did it. There'll be other stuff in there too. I don't know whether it needs it there or not. Same thing over on this side. This will be outside of the frame, inside the boot cowl here. And I think the one on the other airframe was quite a bit wider than this, but this is fine here. It doesn't have to be that wide as long as it clears the control cables there. So you come in through this gingerbread here. Um, another little piece of uh, hose on there to protect it where it goes across this uh, post and behind this uh, gingerbread here, this former. The fuel line here going up doesn't touch it at all and it does kind of rub on this uh, little standoff here a little bit or yeah, it's just a little bit below it but um, it's fine. And I made that 90 degree bend. I didn't think I was going to be able to bend it that close to the end but uh, I did uh, bend having that plastic uh, guide on there on the on the bender uh, made it pretty nice the the metal the aluminum ones the the posts on it they still scarred that up a little bit mostly just the paint so but it turned out pretty good so the fuel lines the main fuel lines are all in and run and uh, pretty happy with the way they turned out so 